Today, we're going to be diving into Super Machine. This is a new AI picture creating where it actually has multiple different models to be able to create art the way you want. So we're gonna go ahead and dive into it right now. They are having a Black Friday special on AppSumo. Look at it and see what they have. If you like LTD's lifetime prices or one-time fees, you better jump on it while it's still available. That's a fact. We're gonna go ahead and test it and see how it is. I love using new softwares. I love trying out new things. I definitely like this because you're able to use it for like creating coloring books or creating children's books. It also has the naughty stuff in there too for those that are looking to create that as well. But let's go ahead and dive in. This is the AppSumo offer right now. It is on AppSumo Select. It's Super Machine. They have it where you can stack up to five or four codes right now. It's all dependent on how many uh, pictures you want to create per month. That's the only real difference. One code is $79. There's 276 reviews right now at four tacos, which is pretty amazing. They have an intro video here and they show the type of pictures that you're able to create. Now they have 40 different models that you can do. You're able to train some of these models. You just input the stuff and it'll actually show you when you're going through the different models, it'll show you the types of pictures you can create with that model. And so it says that you can stack up to five codes, but here I see four. It gives you all the apprentice plan updates. And you, of course, with AppSumo, you're able to test it out for 60 days, see how it is. You have fast generations, you have private generations as well. I have the plan one that we're going to be testing out today, which gives you 10 different aspect ratios and a thousand images per month. So for me, that's, that's quite enough. But if you have some heavy users out there, you can do four or 5,000 images per month. Everything else is the same, except for the number of images that you want to create. So this is a firsthand look at the back office. This is the first time I'm actually diving in here. They do have a little bit of a walkthrough demo to show you how to do it so hold and drag across to scroll the area right here get 2500 credits for creating the most inspirational art and what you're thankful for is i guess i'm getting ready for thanksgiving and you see here we have different models that we can go ahead and create with just like the demo area said, you can go ahead and click on this. You can scroll sideways or you can come up here and you can go ahead and view all models to see which kind of picture that you want to create. And we can just go ahead and scroll down and see some of the types of pictures that we want to create. There's multiple pages to select the different types that we want to do. And you can see that they have quite a varied look at all the different types that you can go ahead and create in here. And so you can go ahead and select one that works for you and then you can go ahead and start creating. So let's go ahead and jump in here. This one here looks super realistic and let's go ahead and give it an instruction. Now, when creating this, you can actually get really granular, which I like. So they have style assistants here where you are able to come in and see what type you like. So they have camera, they have color, they have emotions. So like you can get in here with emotions. You can be angry, bitter, disgusted, embarrassed, excited, funny, happy, horrifying, all that kind of stuff. So if you're doing a person, you can go ahead and select how they are in their emotions. You can go ahead and select different types of cyberpunk, CGI rendering, style so different styles of different artists in here. That's pretty cool. And different cameras. So you can select different cameras that you want to go ahead and create with. Carving and etching. So different types of carving and etching. Different visual styles, which is pretty cool. And so you can go ahead and select any of those if you want. Also drawing style right here. That's pretty awesome. And then you can also create consistent characters, all the consistent characters, females, males, young adult, middle age. Uh, you can search for a specific character. And if you like one of these characters, so you can click on it to see the, the picture of the character. So you see the picture of the character. If you like this, then you basically you click on that character and it adds a photo of them so that basically it will go ahead and create that type of character for you in the different generations that you're doing. They also have advanced settings that you can click here and you can come down here and change the aspect ratio. So three by four, one by one, three by four. This is if you're doing a book or a coloring book portrait. So this is going to be for your social media posts, stuff like that. Landscape 16 by nine. If you're doing YouTube videos or presentations, you got the image size here, which is pretty good. How many images you want to output. We have the sampler, which I'd have to play with this. I don't know what that is. And album destination, if we want to create a new album. So let's go ahead and create a test album and see what we can find out here. And so we have a test album now. And let's go ahead and I'm going to do something a little bit fun here. My wife is always telling me little jokes about rainbows and unicorns. Let's see rainbow let's see if we can find a rainbow in the background with a unicorn in front wearing sunglasses let's see if we can do that and we'll see if we can go ahead and add an emotion we'll go ahead and add let's see here let's go ahead and add a happy or excited let's see here we got excited happy let's do excited so let's go ahead and see right here it says generate with one credit so let's go ahead and generate and see how we do that's funny for a realistic picture here. We got the rainbows in the background, unicorn wearing sunglasses, rainbow hair. Uh, that's not bad at all.
So let's go ahead and do a little bit of experimentation. I've got a grizzled middle-aged man in green wife beater shirt, dirty and just out of battle, ready to eat and relax. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a style here. We'll go ahead and jump in and let's see if he is bitter. He's bitter. And let's see if we got anything else. And let's see, we'll do cyberpunk. So let's go ahead and generate, see how this goes. Here is our dirty, grizzled, middle-aged man in a green wife beater, just out of battle. So yeah, this is this looks pretty realistic. This is pretty good. You look at the detail, it is, it's very realistic. So I like that, and that was super simple to be able to get a nice image generated like that. So we're going to go ahead and try something here. Some of the big image generation places don't allow you to do things with the word like farting, which is like a really big thing when you're doing coloring books. And that's actually a really big niche that a lot of people have been doing. So let's see if either one of these, we got coloring book style and super machine coloring book. Let's see if either one of these will allow us to do it. So let's go ahead and do a, a unicorn in a field. Let's see if it will allow us to go. Uh, oh, let's see. We got a magic prompt here. Let's see if it'll do anything else with us. Maybe it'll help us generate a better prompt. Unicorn in a field, farting, detailed, cinematic, epic. Let's see what we got here. Cinematic and epic. That sounds fun, I guess. <laughs> An epic toot. That looks like a tree, and it looks like it's already colored. Let's. So we're going to go ahead and change this up a little bit. We're going to say coloring book page, black and white. Maybe that will help us a little bit. Let's see how it looks. So there is definitely a unicorn here, but I do not see any toots. So maybe it does not like it on this one. So let's go ahead and see if we can go ahead and transpose this one in the other one and see how it looks for us. So we're here. Let's go ahead and go to this one. And uh, let's see how it looks. What I really like is the ease of use, just being able to type it in, click, and go. So I don't know if this is our little toot here, but... We've got a unicorn there sitting in a field. Maybe this is its toot, the cloud. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if we can experiment a little bit more and see how we're doing in here. So before we do that, let's go ahead and look at some of the top stuff here. So we've got generate. That's what we've been doing. We've got a canvas where, oh, wow, it looks like we can draw, select, erase, undo, redo, and reset. So we can do something here with the canvas. It's got a background color, a paint color, a brush size. So we can go ahead and color and generate with our picture, which is pretty cool. Let's see. We have some tools here. Oh, this is interesting. We have face swap. Oh, wow. Let's see. Face swapping technology. Let's see. You agree. Your person's face your, your, uh, provide this tool entertainment. Oh, wow. So you can actually upload an image. Let's see. Let's see if I can swap my face here. One second. Maybe we can have some fun and give this guy some muscles. So it says right here, face swap. Upload the face image you'd like to swap here. So I believe that's going to be my face. Let's go ahead and grab that really quick. Face. Let's see. Face. Face. Okay. We got a face. That's me. And let's go ahead and upload. Let's see. Let's go to the downloads here. How oh, is it in here? Let's see. This might be some fun stuff here. It's not in there. Let's see. Where'd you go? Let's see if we can get up there on the face. Let's see here. Swap two credits. Let's see if it works. Maybe I did it backwards. Look at that. There goes my face right there. <laughs> That's actually pretty impressive. Wow. I just got my face and now I got some big old muscles. That's pretty impressive. That's a pretty cool tool. So yeah, we got face swap. We got image to prompt. Initial image so we can create a prompt from this image. And control net. I don't know what that is. Control net is coming soon. We have albums of all the stuff that we've created. That is pretty, that's pretty awesome. We've got search so that we can go ahead and search for an idea. Let's see. Check out some of these awesome images and prompts that you can use as an inspiration. Describe the inspiration. Describe the images you'd like inspiration from. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if they have anything here. Let's say Fireman. And it looks like for inspiration, it's searching lexica.art. And we have different images of Fireman created. So we got robots and paintings and people with arms on fire. So you can use these as... That's not a Fireman. <laughs> yeah, so we've got uh, right here. I think he's missing his clothes. But yeah, so it gives you examples of other things that people have created. You can also search by an image. So that's pretty cool. And then it's got any updates here. So all of the stuff that they've been working on. on the side here, you can go ahead and click on your logo for your account. And you see here that it has your credits. It has your consistent characters, Chrome extension, and the API. So it has ABI access through his other app that he created, which is Riku. So this is uh, Stuart Lansdale. He created Riku and content 
villain so he's created a lot of good apps previously and so you can actually go here we have api documentation i'll go ahead and have the link down below so you can go ahead and uh access the api documentation on how to use it so that you can uh, run the creations through api and it also has the extension i'll also have the link down below so you can check the extension out but it, it basically gives you quick access to the website where you're able to keep it in your extensions bar click it and create on the go when you're creating content other places which is pretty cool and it looks like only 87 people have been able to find it so i'll have that link down below so you can use that as well when you pick this up and uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool app. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Definitely gives you the ability to have a one-time fee so that you're not paying monthly fees for other apps like Midjourney. And if you love Midjourney, they do have Midjourney Improved and Midjourney Paper Cut. So if you look in here, it is an Open Journey V2, and it is fine-tuned model on Midjourney images. So if Midjourney is your thing, you can create images like Midjourney with the Midjourney Improved, and it also has the Paper Cut version also. And so you can go ahead and create paper cut images that are also trained on mid journey paper cut art and you can save a little bit of money and it has 40 different models to be able to get in there so you can literally almost any kind of model that's out there you can get in there and start creating so i'm pretty impressed this is for a one-time fee and not having to pay monthly fees this is definitely a good option i'll have a link down below if you want to go ahead and check this out like i said they do have a black friday lifetime deal special and usually ones from this creator are hard to hold on to once they're gone so hopefully you enjoyed this rundown and review of supermachine.art make sure that you follow for more we'll be doing some more product reviews and app reviews but this one here is definitely a go for me and i'm gonna hold on to this one this one is pretty awesome